yo yo what's up welcome to the channel now if you're the owner of the samsung galaxy a7t then you will know it it's an awesome phone i know it because i have one <laughs> now it comes with some awesome features and and i'll tell you some of the selling points for me that i absolutely love and i'm currently enjoying with this phone first of all i want to talk about the 6.7 inch display super amoled infinity u display aspect ratio of 20 to 9 it's just beautiful it's completely different when you're watching it on an, on a video when you're watching it on an ad or watching it on a on the internet and having the phone in your hand it's a completely different experience and from experience having this phone i just can't put it down it's just beautiful one of the most beautiful displays i've seen on a phone for a very long time and for a mid-range phone i think it's a lot better than a lot of the so-called flagships that we have flying around in the market right now a lot better than some of those high-end phones and that's just my opinion eh? second thing i want to show you is the camera three cameras triple camera samsung call it there is a main camera 32 megapixel 1.7 aperture there is a ultra wide camera 8 megapixel and then there's a depth sensor 5 megapixel camera takes beautiful pictures especially when the atmosphere is just right when the when the sun is out and it's beautiful i've never actually taken much pictures um in low light conditions but but what i've seen so far i'm i'm really impressed with it uh, some of the other features this comes with is it it, it has a six gigs of ram on a mid-range phone six gigs in fact some versions of this phone comes with eight gigs of memory plus 128 gigabytes of storage wow oh that's all i can say i mean jeez man another selling point for me is the security feature when it comes to the fingerprint sensor now unlike the other phones that comes with physical button now this one does not you have to scan your finger on the screen itself yes man the fingerprint is built in on the screen all right not on any buttons at the back at the front or at the bottom of the screen a lot of folks have been complaining about how effective this is and from my opinion it's really a hit and miss sometimes you have to hold your finger on the screen for a couple seconds longer than, than you would like to get access to the phone so that was becoming a bit annoying so i just set up my face recognition face id feature on the phone and it opens a lot better now you know the advantages and disadvantage of having um the fingerprint sorry the face recognition as a as a security feature on the phone all right but that is what i'm using at the moment now this is the biggest selling point for me the battery i can't recall when i've seen a 4500 milliamp battery on a mid-range phone seriously even on the high-end phone that they have right now in the market you can't find that easily 4500 milliamps now i've tried my best to exhaust this battery i've tried i've crank up the battery crank up the the brightness to maximum i've, I've looked at loads of of youtube videos i've snapped a lot of picture record a lot of videos and somehow i just can't get it below 50 percent seriously Plus, there is a super fast 25 watt charger that comes with this phone and it's just freaking awesome, man. I don't want to go on and on with these features, but <clears throat> what I want to show you are some tips uh, and tricks or whatever you want to call it about this phone that are not so obvious when you get it. And I'm going to show you how to access these features to make your overall experience with the Samsung A70 a lot better. First of all, let's look at the camera. Now it says, according to Samsung, this has 32 megapixel main camera. A lot of folks again have been complaining that there are no options to switch between different camera resolution. Like you can switch from five megapixel to eight megapixel to 24 to 32. There are no options for that. And they're right. Not obviously there are no obvious option for that. So if we go into camera and we go into camera settings, no, you cannot easily see that. All right. Most of the settings that you can adjust here uh, in regard with regards to video, you can adjust the resolution of the videos and all that. But with regards to 
still pictures you would not be able to find it in the settings where can you find that now if you look at the top of your screen in the main camera section where you see three four you if, if you start from left to right you see the setting button then the flash and then the timer and then the three four if you click on that then another set of options will come up full screen um, 916 and then on the left you will see 34H now that is your 32 megapixel all right right there if I click on it again you will see 32 megapixel that is how you switch in my opinion though this original setting it came with takes much better quality photo than the 32 megapixel I don't know how that happens again it's a matter of opinion but that is how I feel another disadvantage that I've seen with the when you switch to the 32 megapixel camera you cannot access HDR if you if I just like how I switch a while ago and you notice the HDR is grayed out right here where you see useful features it's grayed out you cannot access it no matter how much I click now if I switch back to the original setting it came with now if you look on the screen on the top right hand corner you see HDR on there if I go back in the settings then I can see I can click on it I can turn it on off or there are some other options here where you can apply as needed or always apply so that's one of the disadvantages of using the 32 megapixel camera again I said it's a matter of opinion for me the 32 megapixel camera does not take quality photos like the original setting the 3 4 setting all right so that is how you access your 32 megapixel another thing i want to show you is with regards to the battery percentage when the phone came when i just got this phone i could not see my battery percentage now that is important to me i like to see how much power i have remaining whether it's 80 percent 50 percent 30 percent 10 percent 2 percent all right so how do you um get that on your display you scroll down on the notification bar here and you go to settings you see where the setting button is to the right of the setting there are three vertical buttons on your extreme right you click on those and then you go into status bar the third option down you click on that and then you will see the last option on the screen is show battery percentage if i click on that and you look on my screen you will see the percentage keep disappearing and coming back all right disappearing and coming back all right so you can just leave it you know, if you rather not seeing that for some reason then that is up to you okay so that is how you 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 put your battery percentage on display another amazing thing that i that i um see with this phone is that you can actually remove the physical button as you can see on my phone right now you cannot see the physical button on the bottom of the screen that is the home button the button where you can see your recent apps and then the back button that is because i have disabled that so i can have more screen space now if you want to put those back you go back into the drop down notification thing here you scroll across until you find a navigation bar mine is right next to bixby routine here where you see in blue if i click on navigation bar then you will see at the bottom of my screen the the navigation buttons are back and if i click on it again they disappear all right now if you decide to have them off this is how you move around with your phone all you have to do where those buttons were all you have to do is swipe upwards for example if i want to go into my recent apps i go into the recent where the recent app button was and i just swipe up okay so you see these are my recent apps and if i wish i can close all to go back to the home screen click sorry you swipe up on the middle button which is the home button and it takes you back if i'm into setting or in another screen all i have to do and i want to go back i swipe up on the back button which is this one all right so it they work the same it's just that you are not able to see them obviously you can switch that feature on and off if you wish now the thing i want to show you is with regards to the battery option to help you um control battery usage to help the battery goes longer if you wish couple five couple days now if you go into setting and you click on device care right here all right if you click on the top right hand corner where you where you see the three vertical 
the three vertical dots in the top right hand corner you click on that if you wish you can put it to auto optimization where it can optimize the battery for itself you can set a time for that i have it on 3 a.m as you see and then it will do that every day for you or, or you can do it manually now this whole setting if you want to see it on your screen on your display rather than entering setting to get it all you have to do is to click on one two three the fourth option down where it says hide icon on app screen right now it's displayed if i want to remove it from the main screen i click on that it's gone if i want to put it back i just click on show icon on app screen if i do that and i go back to my app screen it's right there this one all right where you see let me go back to it again device care right there the second one from the left and then you can go straight into that all right, another thing I want to show you is to is with regards to the battery optimization, even more optimization options. If you click on the battery in the top right hand corner, again, you click settings and then you could actually put apps to sleep. If you come down to the one, two, three, four option where it says sleeping apps, you click on that. You can actually put apps to sleep apps that you are not really using regularly. You just add them there and Samsung says that these apps will not run in the background, but you cannot, they, they will not be updated or they cannot send notification. All right. You can also disable apps or you can, you can also show you where your disabled apps are. I click on disable apps and it showed me some apps that are actually disabled that I don't use regularly either. If you're not a fan of fast charging, you can enable or disable fast charging right at the bottom of the screen here you can do that all right so those are some other battery optimization options you can utilize all right i'm gonna press on optimize now and it will do some tweaking for me and um some apps that are in the background and so forth it's a handy feature if you want to use it then go right ahead all right another thing that i want to show you is with regards to hiding apps now if there are any apps that you want to hide that you just don't like to see like myself then you can do that you can click on settings if you go into display all right if i click on display and i go into home screen all right just below screen timeout i click here it gives me the option to hide apps the last option at the bottom of the screen if i click on that you just scroll to any of the apps that you have and then you click on it and then you click apply and then it will hide it all right i don't want to hide any of my apps at the moment another thing with regards to notification is that when you get a notification for example if you receive an email now the email icon will come and pop up on the screen now for me i like to see these these little animations if you get a youtube update and there is a notification it will come pop up on your screen here with the with the app icon itself now if you want to do that you go back into display and the same home screen you can also do that at app icon badges right here you can switch it on and off so when there is a notification not just you would not just get it at the top of the notification screen then the it's just that the app itself the app icon will pop up on the screen so it, it looks a bit flashy and i like these kind of things so that is why i have mine enabled all right so these are some of the um features and, and tips and tricks that i think that, I, that that might be useful in terms of helping you get the most out of your samsung a70 device all right, I am running out of time. I will continue this, this video another time with some more tips and tricks and some of the features I think that are hidden from the user and show you how to access them so you can experience um, better overall performance of the phone. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. All right, thanks for watching. I'm out.